What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, continuing Ochinoko with episodes 4 and 5. As usual, on YouTube, it's going to be a timer based reaction, um, picture and picture version in the description below. So if you're still watching on YouTube, then get your copy of the episode ready because I'm going to start a countdown. Once it hits 0, I press play, you press play, and we should all be in sync. And let's just get into it. Countdown to the timer starts now. Ah uh, yes, really helpful subtitles. I can totally understand what what they're saying now. All right, back where episode three left us with the TV production and all. Right, right. Right. Suddenly, everything shuts off, right? The sound. Hmm. Especially for child actors. Yeah. You see it happen a lot. Oof. One stars. Ooh. Which adds to the pressure more. Yeah, but you're not supposed to outshine 
the other actors. Yeah. Because they don't care. Also, people's opinions and perspective on certain scenes are totally different. And here comes, here comes Aqua. Really good reveal. Yeah. No, 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 no. Keep it going. Keep it going. Mm hmm. Taking advantage of his environment. Hmm. The music also helps. Now, yeah. But it's bringing out all of them, right? All of the actors, even even the. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Now he's screaming, right? Elevating the performances. Hmm. Great laugh. And there it is. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, it happens, it happens. Aqua's looking for that authenticity. At, th at this rate, Aqua's probably going to be a method actor. <laughs> Hmm.
That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. Who is this? Ah. Background artist. I need that Wacom screen drawing tablet. Oh, but it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. Just for this one scene. most m mangas that are being adapted yeah oh there's some tears ah okay okay that was her work Wait, we met the um, the creator of the work before in, in the previous episode. I guess I forgot how they look. I guess that's my bad. Yeah, she looks different when... Getting praise from the author herself. <laughs> yeah, it could have been, been better if, if it was like that in the beginning. The producer, right? Of course. Right. Play it cool. Play it cool. Hmm. Nah, it's 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 not him. Way too soon to for us to figure out who the killer is or the father is. Hmm. In a way, he is. Well, in his old life. Want to take a photo? A, a, a what? <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay. 
reality dating show. <laughs> because he is. <laughs> Ruby's the only one who Ruby's the only one who gr greets their mom or says farewell to their mom whenever they leave. Yeah, don't be. Perfect to befriend a lot of people. In, you know, in a similar field. Gotta increase that self-esteem, Ruby. <laughs> the shot. <laughs> Born and raised. Mm. I don't need friends. <laughs> exactly. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to find... The murderer and my father. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna make a lot of friends, Aqua. I can, I, I can tell. You may not like them, but, but we are going to force you to make some friends. Same thing that, uh... That Kana told them. Whoa. Whoa, those eyes, those, those green <laughs> reptilian eyes. Shh. 
She's fangirling. So what's the deal with Frill? Like, what is she hiding? Who is the real Frill behind that mask? <laughs> hey! Hey, it's praise. Even Aqua is surprised by this. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh. I haven't done anything yet. Yeah. Well, bye-bye. Hey, keep, keep, keep at it. Ah, oh, yeah, the pressure. Average Jane. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta scout some talents. Kana. Yeah. Arr. That was a pretty fun episode. All right, continuing with episode five. Once again, countdown for the episode starts now. Oh, now I can read the subtitles. I mean, I've already technically read the um the translations before this.
Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, you gotta build that bridge and you gotta be You gotta learn to work together, right? You don't even know each other yet. Oh yeah. She's a bit of a blush there. Hmm. <laughs> she completely changes her personality after this. It's it's about the approach. It's about the approach, Ruby. It's about the approach. Mm, yeah. Straight to the point. Yes, she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's thinking about it. Yeah, she's gonna accept. Like, come on. She's looking at it for both ways. In in both ways, though. Like, like she knows the inner workings of, of the idol industry and how shady and bad it is. In some aspects. She's the real deal. It's almost as if they have the same eyes. Right, it's a very risky move if she says yes. It is a very reckless gamble. But that's a really good transition there, using the uh, the leaves. Oh, <laughs> just... Hey, if it's Aqua who's the one who's saying it... Keep pestering her, and she'll say yes. <laughs> Great cut. And why did you do it? Yeah. Let's give it our best. Mm. Mm. Manipulative. Foreshadowing.
There's that aspect as well, yes. And this is the dating show? She was in the opening. She was also in the opening. Oh, she's a she's a YouTuber. Memcho. Yeah, he, he's putting up an act. <laughs> That's because it's all a fake. Reality shows are all fake. <laughs> the duality. Yeah, just calm down, yeah. Fair enough. No, no, well, well, not all of them, at least. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. And then after kissing, it's more revealing and yeah. Oh. Hmm. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Now he can be lying about all of that, of course. And he's only using it to, you know, to force Aqua to be in the show. But let's hope he keeps his word. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's acting to make it feel as real as you can.
yeah, it's 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 a non-scripted direction. They're still. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Like, if you have to say yes to everything. It was more than that. <laughs> it was very complicated. Something like that. You gotta get over it. But how can you get over it when... <laughs> Ooh, what are they talking about? All right. <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay, perfect. Hmm. Really hoping that Frail is gonna get more. Great cut. Hoping that that Frill will get more screen time, maybe just just explore a bit because she is a side character, but explore a bit of her, of what she's doing. They're delaying it. All right, right, you start small. Call up the cat videos. <laughs> That's why you gotta be a VTuber. <laughs> Oh.
Him? Is it the direct? Wait, who? Who? <laughs> who is this? <laughs> I love him already. Why does he have a... I have so many questions. He's perfect. He's perfect. He's my favorite character. I'm not. Nah. He's... <laughs> the way he talks. It's a free green screen effect. Holy shit, they 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 know exactly what they were doing in this scene. Oh my god. This is reminding me a lot of how heavy are the dumbbells you live. Side testo. <laughs> this is going on for longer than I thought it would. I wonder who's actually voicing him, though. Very true. Collaboration, shoutouts. Ruby, it's... The theme of the show. Ruby's gonna learn a lot about the idol, not not just the idol industry, but the the entertainment industry as a whole, and how much it relies on lies. Sometimes you have to lie. <laughs> she... Well, it's not really a laughing matter. She she is actually <laughs> Yeah, okay. You got to think one fast.
Okay. What does Komachi mean? I'll, I'll, I'll check it up later. That was... <laughs> Peon, best, best character, by the way. <laughs> That entire segment of them where, where they're just dancing on the green screen, just... It went on for longer than I was expecting, and I think that just adds up more to the joke. As in, yeah, this is going pretty long. They're not stopping. That was fun. Alright, first thing that I'm going to say about these two set of episodes is that the comedy is really good. Um, I mean, it is expected from the author of Kaguya-sama, but I will say that the first three episodes, um, while the comedy is there, it wasn't as hard-hitting as these two set of episodes. I think, especially for episode 5, um, with the introduction of... Um, with the introduction of... Of, of this character of of a uh, of Pion Pion Pion, um, yeah, that was that was completely unexpected and um, it totally caught me off guard and especially just how long and how drawn out that scene where they were just dancing in, in um in front of the green screen. I think I think the fact that it is really drawn out just kind of adds more to the um the absurdity of it. Um, and it it really works. It it, it worked really well. I I enjoyed that part a lot. Um. Overall, though, um, these two set of episodes, obviously, um, it is reinforcing, once again, the theme of the show about how much of the entertainment industry is... There's a lot of good aspects. Um, what they're trying to do is for good, right? It's for the entertainment of others, right? It's, it's to give you, the audience, you know, like, um, something to laugh at, something to, um, to smile at, something to you know, to, to feel emotions about, right? That's that's not the purpose of the entertainment industry, right? It's to give entertainment to you. The problem, obviously, is how the entertainment industry actually works and how shady and, and, and not really well cooperating and sometimes downright manipulative and controlling they are, especially towards the talents involved, right? Um, I mean, that's like pretty obvious. I mean, I mean we've talked about this, uh, the show talked about it as well. In the first couple of episodes, these two setup episodes are only reinforcing that idea. Really nothing much for me to say other than the fact that, once again, it's just reinforcing those ideas. Um, it is fun to see Aqua going from, um, you know, his his gig at this TV adaptation of this manga to a reality dating show. And, of course, obviously, because... Instead of being a side character from from you know from that previous gig to a main character in in this show, this reality quote unquote reality dating show, right? With a lot of people that we do see a lot of in the opening, which means some of those people, some of those characters will be important or at least be um, prevalent in in the show in the long run, right? Means that I'm really excited to see where. Or how Aqua is going to interact with all of them. Because here's the thing about Aqua. And I feel like all of us know about this. Um, he's pretty... Uh, he's pretty... Um, dare I say a bit of an emo. <laughs> I mean obviously it is because of the fact that he is trying to, you know, shut off 
shot shot off like like the world around him because he wants to say stay focused on himself he he doesn't really want to make any friends and all you know that's like that's common that's that's obviously um understandable right given his character given his past given what he is going for given what he's going through and of course his objective his goal of trying to find his father and solving this murder mystery once and for all right um not a lot of room for for making fun and jokes in there, here and there right but sometimes you have to make some fun and jokes that's just life you can't just always be gloomy and and, and dark and and herder and I'm not, I, I don't want to feel any emotions and, and all right and and that's like what we are setting up his character to be right he, we are setting up his character to be this really cold character but obviously once he learns more he's gonna make friends as i said in uh, i think episode four where yeah he's not he doesn't want to make friends but we're gonna give him friends whether he likes it or not and i feel like the dating show reality dating dating show right even if they are just um, working as actors, working as partners in their field, it does present him with a lot of people to interact with, a lot of people to hang out with, right? And some potential friendships, if you will. Um, I don't know what they are setting up with in regards to, like, love interest and all, but I feel like Kana is pretty much set in stone for the obvious candidate for aqua but of course you know anything can anything can go right um but i saw so yeah I, I do love that aspect of the show i do also find it funny well not really funny but it but it is um i guess n necessary it's not really necessary but but it's just fun to see um aqua and ruby going into this school where sure it's a normal school but almost everybody in that school uh, works in the entertainment industry right in one way or another whether it be actors actresses models um youtubers streamers actors and like, like, like anything goes anything goes right and i guess it is purposeful so that when we are interacting with friends, when when they are interacting with their friends, it, it, there is some sort of camaraderie between them. There is this level of understanding between them about like, oh yeah, I'm in the entertainment industry, you're in the entertainment industry, like we can talk about this. Like, there's some, you know, they're, they're, they're living in the same wavelength. They, they know well enough about the industry and they can really share like their experiences, right? There's a difference between that and when, let's say, Aqua and Ruby goes into a normal school with normal people, right? Sure, they can interact with them, but none of them don't really know how the entertainment industry works, nor do they have any um, um, expertise or experience with them. So it's kind of like talking to a brick wall. Like, like you can talk about these things, but none of them are going to get it, right? So purposefully, because they are in this school with, with, you know, with, with people that are in this industry, um, one, it makes it easier for them to make friends, and two... Um, it also makes it easier for the story to basically hammer in the idea of yeah everything is not as it seems um a lot of a lot of these people um hopefully i want to see them you know hopefully they i, I want to see the, the show and the story kind of hammer more about the fact that these people are sacrificing some things because that's just how it is right they're either sacrificing their time they're either sacrificing sacrificing their um um um, I guess that not not their, not their responsibility, but but I guess sacrificing what sacrificing themselves actually is a, is a better theme now that now that I'm thinking about it because ultimately you are not presenting your true self in the entertainment industry. You're presenting a fake, right? A personality, right? And it's, people don't really see who you are. People see the character that you are playing, right? And they don't know who you are personally, right? They only know who you are through a screen or or a magazine or a book or an image, right? So I do want to see that aspect explored more. There's a couple of characters like Frill, for example, where you know she's the archetype, where you know she's she's the top of their of their class. She's the um, the uh, the character that everybody looks up to, right? She is the star of the school, right? But usually those characters also harbor a lot of secrets also um you know they're, they're also not what they seem maybe their their exterior is again 
a fake, right? So it's, it's a matter of like, okay, which one is the real frill, for example? And just seeing her interact with Aqua and um, Kana in that scene in episode 4, where they're just, you know, chilling out and just saying like, oh yeah, I, I, I know you, I know you, I've seen you before and this and that. Like, to me, that's like the, the interaction that I want, right? And, and, and that kind of goes to show like how genuine they are. But it's also kind of funny when, when Frill also looked at Ruby and she's like, Who are you? Don't meet your heroes, kids. But I do, again, I don't know how much action we're, we're gonna get with Frill, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that at least we're gonna get like some insight about her um, work and all, because she's obviously skipping a lot of classes, right? Um, but in regards to Ruby, um... I guess Ruby is the... Here's the thing about Ruby and, and, and Aqua, right? Aqua, so far, is the character that knows how the industry works, right? He knows how much there's some, you know, there's corporate shenanigans. He knows how much there's... Um, he knows how much lies there is within the industry and how much it is necessary for them to, to you know, to lie to people in order to present that value that the people wanted, right? It is not genuine, but it is the value that people crave for, right? There's 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 some there's something about it, right? Um whereas Ruby, she is the character that doesn't know much about the industry, or at least she her perspective of, of the industry and what she wants the industry to be is very much different from what it truly is, right? Reality is often disappointing, right? Ruby wants things to, you know, to be as genuine as they can be. She wants it to feel natural, she wants it to feel real, and she doesn't want it to be fake. She doesn't want it to be, you know, an industry full of lies. Obviously, attributed to the fact that she knows what that type of industry does to, to people, especially towards her mother, right? But it is also, I would say, a really long dream to have, right? It's, it's, it's a dream that is almost impossible to achieve because that's just not how the industry works. Because if the industry is genuine, if it is real, then it loses half of its entertainment value, I would say. Of course, you can make the argument that you can make entertainment, you, there, there is value within reality, but that's not why people watch these shows. That's not why people attend these um, concerts or, or, or whatever, right? These events. It's not why people read books that are, you know, um, fiction or, or mangas, for example. No, people do these things because they want to escape reality, right? It's it's a form of escapism. So it's kind of hard to juggle in between that. And it, I think it's also really... It's, it's also great that the story is juxtaposing that side with, um, with Aqua's side, where he is attending a reality um, dating show, right? It's, it's the irony of... We're calling it a reality dating show, but it's not really real. It's still fake. There's still some form of direction, right? As 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 Aqua um, says it perfectly, right? They're not going off on a script, but there is still some sense of direction. So it's still, it's not a hundred percent genuine, right? Sure, the, the the actors and the way they talk and when what they are saying isn't scripted it's it's all coming from their you know from their mind it's it's all coming from their heart but at the same time they're still playing a character right even aqua is still playing a character he's not really being genuine at and you know um during that production at all right he's he's playing this playful happy character who is obviously not aqua at all um and then of course you know there's still the direction of like okay you can freely do this but you still need to do this and keep in mind up the cameras here and there and all, and all that stuff. So, you know, it's it's the it's the um, not really mind-shattering revelation of like, oh yeah, re reality shows aren't really real. But it is a fun juxtaposition, once again, between that and what Aqua... I'm sorry, what, what Ruby wants, right? 
Overall, once again, like, like I, I think these two set of episodes are pretty good. Um, we are introduced to a lot of new characters. Um, some of the characters that we have met, um, Ruby, Aqua, Kana, like they're all still great. I still really enjoyed them at all. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. I'm 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 staring at Peon this entire time, by the way. So every time, so these this entire time I was discussing the show, I'm I'm, I'm just looking at him on the screen. I, sh I I I don't know why, but I'm just. Anyways, thank you all so much for um watching my reaction and my discussion to Oshinoko episodes four and five. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more that. That, that all of you want to discuss because obviously this is a pretty short discussion i would say um maybe shorter than what most of you want but yeah keep the discussion going in the comment section down below so i will see you all next time for the next episode of oshinoko take care have a nice day peace